ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the SAS shock absorbers used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. Loosen the rear wheel studs. Lift the rear of your vehicle. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. To change the back shock absorbers on your vehicle, you need to remove the wheels to gain full access to the suspension system. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. Brush the lower shock absorber retaining screw. Then spray it with penetrating oil. Next, using a socket wrench and a 14mm socket, loosen the lower nut and the shock absorber. Hold the bolt using a socket wrench and a 14mm socket. To access the rear shock absorber heads, you need to open the trunk. Then take off the plastic cover. Using two 14mm spanners, unscrew the two nuts holding the upper suspension strut support bearing. If the shock absorber rod rotates with the nut, you need to block the rotation using a socket wrench and a slotted socket or an adjustable spanner. Then remove the washer and the support bearing. Remove the lower bolt. You can now extract the shock absorber. Remove the elastic stop from the old dust coat. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the sash parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Before installing the new shock absorbers, it is necessary to prime them by pressing the shock absorber rod vertically so that the gas and the hydraulic fluid are separated. Remove the plastic protection. Unscrew the lock nut on the stem. Place the elastic stop on the new dust coat. Then install the dust coat on the rod. Put the new shock absorber in place using the upper part. Slide the lower part into its housing. Replace the upper strut support bearing and then the washer. Start to screw the nut in a little. Put the lower bolt back in place. In order not to damage the silent blocks, it is necessary to tighten the retaining bolts with the rear axle in the vehicle on the ground position. Lift the rear axle with a jack. Once under pressure, screw the nut back on. Then finish tightening the lower bolt with a torque wrench. Finalize the tightening of the shock absorber head with a torque wrench. Put the plastic cover back on. Remove the jack. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put your car back on the ground and block the wheels securely. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, 
a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.